If I was to describe Fashion Nova in my own words, I would say outrageous, glam, curvilicious models. We've done it with really affordable brands like Shein, and we've done it with very expensive brands like Skims, and today we are going to be diving into Fashion Nova. So if you're new to this series, basically what we're gonna be doing is going on Fashion Nova, going through their best sellers, picking a few items, hopefully thrifting the fabric, and then sewing them up and comparing the prices. Retail price versus what we can make at home. Initially, I thought of this idea as a good way to push the hobby of sewing, while it's also answering the question of how do I get affordable pieces and not have to worry about any factory conditions or that anyone's being taken advantage of. I felt like this was a good answer to that. But of course the question always arose of, well, I don't have a sewing machine. And I've been teasing this sewing machine giveaway for a very long time. It is currently live over on my second channel. So if you want a chance to win a sewing machine, go over to the video on my second channel. I'll link it down below, but first watch this video. But okay, let's get shopping on Fashion Nova. Okay, let's check out some bestsellers. I mean, we absolutely have to make this. Our proportions are really similar. Like I'm trying to find models with really similar proportions to me. That way I can really show it off. And I feel like we look super similar. So that could be perfect. In this video, I'm gonna be incorporating a little bit of thrift flipping. And I feel like if I thrifted a jean jacket and then cropped it and finished it, this would be a super easy way to make this. A piece of me kind of wants to try to make a swimsuit. And like this one, the high-waisted, and then this triangle top. Should we? We should. Ooh, that's cute. Looking like a total candy cane. Pink halter top. Ooh, I like this. Biker short set, yes. Okay, and with that, we have our sights set on a few pieces. Let's get thrifting. Okay, so first things first, I went to the thrift store. I was not feeling super optimistic about finding fabric for these pieces because they were all kind of unique colors. I found this cute floral fabric, which was really nice. This patchwork fabric. I even found this one with tulips and a little gardener, but nothing really that matched our projects. Although that's not to say I wasn't finding anything because I found this pillow. Are you kidding me? And then I found this pillow with a duck on it. These are all unrelated finds. <laughs> Like if you ever went to the thrift store and been looking for a neon green fabric and then found a bunch of grandma pillows without even trying, and these jars. There are so many amazing finds and nothing's related to the Fashion Nova video. Let's just say it was really successful, but I found nothing for the video. So then I went to the fabric store and I was having a lot more success. So immediately I went into the clearance fabric and this candy cane stripe fabric jumped right out at me, $3 a meter. The clearance section was very fruitful for these projects. I found this pink stretchy fabric for $3 a meter and we're not gonna need much of this. This cheetah print is actually one I've been eyeing up for quite a while because it's so soft and stretchy and it happened to be on sale when I was there. I honestly didn't really know what fabric I needed for swimwear so I asked someone working and she directed me to this swimwear print which was on sale for $15 a meter and I was so surprised to see this neon green. Perfect! And with that, I think we had everything we needed to start these projects. <laughs> Okay, the first item that we're gonna tackle is this pink halter top. Now I was very lucky because I actually already own a halter top that I really like the shape of. If you don't have that, don't worry. We're gonna be able to eyeball this pattern for sure. It's only two pieces. So on two layers of fabric, we're gonna trace the front of the shirt and then do the same to the back. And I basically just eyeballed the neck hole, folding the thing onto itself so that it'll be even on both sides. Now we're gonna place the back of the shirt on the front of the shirt and then sew up the both the sides. Now this fabric in particular didn't really have a good and a bad side. Both sides were really good, so I didn't really have to worry about it, but depending on what fabric you're using, make sure to put good side to good side. Okay, and then I decided to try it on to make sure it was looking right, and I was actually shocked because it was basically almost done. All we have to do now is grab our pink thread and zigzag stitch the sides and then sew it all up with bias tape on all of the open edges. And that is the finished halter top. Okay, this halter top was super easy to make. I think it's because it's not a complicated like pattern. It's just two pieces sewn together and then finishing the edges. Like this? You can definitely make this without any expertise. I could definitely see myself wearing this a lot in the summer. I love the pink and I love a stretchy fabric. And finding this fuchsia pink on sale was such a score. 
Okay, the price breakdown of this pink halter top, the fabric was a steal of a deal at $3 a meter. When I account for how much fabric I use, I usually estimate up. So for this one, I used half a meter. So $1.50 of fabric. The pink bias tape broke the bank a little bit. It was $2.80. If you buy this in bulk, you can get it for less, but I just needed it for this project. And then thread is always 10 cents because I have no idea how much thread I honestly used or how to figure out that equation. So this top to make it ourselves was $4.40 as opposed to Fashion Nova's $11. Okay, now we're gonna make the leopard print two-piece set. This fabric is a beautiful four-way stretch and it's so, so soft. I'm super excited to use it and wear it. Now, I'm always a little bit nervous when making shorts or basically anything with a pant leg, but I found this really awesome video for making stretchy shorts. So I'm gonna link it down below because it was so helpful and it honestly showed me a whole new way to make shorts, which is way easier. You basically take shorts that you like the shape of, lay it on, and then once you cut it, you flop it over over and cut it all out so it's in a shape like this and then put it good side to good side. I'm not even gonna show you guys on camera how many times I sewed things not good side to good side and then had to seam rip them. It is so frequent. Basically, we're just gonna sew the little ski slopes together and see this is kind of the magic trick moment. You open them up and then push them together. I have no idea how to explain it. And then you sew along that and it's basically shorts. Okay, now I'm just gonna roll hem the top and the bottom to be the right length. And these are your shorts. And look how professional I'm being. I just recently got a serger, so I even serged the inner seams of these. Professionalism. Now if you thought that looked easy, just wait until this tube top. I'm gonna trace out a tube top on two pieces of fabric Sew the sides and hem it, and here we go, tube top. This set is probably my favorite thing that we made, not just because I love cheetah print, and in saying that, I just looked down and realized I'm wearing cheetah print. That wasn't planned. This stretchy fabric is so flattering, and usually I would say I don't like when fabric hugs me too much, but this, outrageous print distracts from like any nooks or crannies that it's hugging. So it just looks very flattering. I suggest cheetah print. Trust me, it unlocks a new personality that you probably don't even know is there. So yeah, I'm really happy with how this turned out. I think this set can be styled so many different ways and it always looks cute. Okay, the price of this leopard print set, again, this fabric was a little bit expensive. It was $13 a meter, and that was already 30% off at that point. So this is a bougie fabric, but it is very soft and very stretchy and beautiful. So I used one meter, so $13, plus thread, we're at $13.10, as opposed to Fashion Nova's $25, but their sale was actually $18. So this set is actually super, super close in price, but I cannot stress this enough. This was so easy to make. You 100% can make this if you want to, and you can make it perfect perfect exactly to your size. If you've ever felt like tube tops don't fit you quite right, or maybe you'd like your shorts to be a little bit longer, this is your moment. Okay, I have a super quick way for us to achieve this super cropped jacket. I went to the thrift store and I found this denim jacket for $9.99. So I threw it on and I'm just gonna mark where I want my crop to lay, looking back and forth from the Fashion Nova photo to make sure it's gonna be kind of a similar crop. And then yes, you probably guessed it, I'm going to cut it there. Now you're gonna wanna make sure if this has pockets on it to go between that because it can look a little bit, you know, it can look a little bit like you chopped off your jean jacket if it's mid pocket. So just try to get your crop in between any details. Now this jean was thick. Like these are the sharpest scissors I've ever had in my entire life. They're linked on my blog and it was even struggling through these layers of jean. One eternity later. Okay, now that we have that cut off, first of all, we have a mini skirt. So that's good news. Anyway, so we're gonna roll hem the bottom. I'm pressing it with my iron and steaming it. Just because jean is so thick and very stubborn, so I need to tell it what direction to sit. And then once I sewed that all up, the jacket was finished. A 10 minute easy DIY. Okay, this has been the first 
thrift flip that we incorporated into this style of video. Usually, as you guys know, we make everything from scratch, but I just thought with a denim jacket, it would be so much easier to just thrift one and cut it down rather than doing this whole thing. Making a denim jacket is definitely out of my expertise at this point. Seriously, if you have ever wanted this short denim jacket on Fashion Nova, run to your thrift store. To do this probably took me under 30 minutes to cut it down and then finish off the edge. And this looks so similar. Okay, the price of this jacket is gonna be pretty simple. I thrifted it for $10.99. This was actually one of the more expensive jackets, but I thought it was really pretty. I know I have thrifted jackets in the past for less, but for the sake of this video, it was $10.99 plus thread, so we're at $11.09. And Fashion Nova's jacket was actually $42. So this was the biggest savings and the least amount of work. Like literally, this took me 10 minutes to do. Okay, we are gonna make this two-piece striped flared pants set. This is almost a perfect fabric for this project. It's not completely the same, but it's close enough and it was only $3 a meter, so I'm happy with it. It's stretchy, it's soft, it looks like a candy cane, we'll be good. So the first step for this is to fold the fabric so that there are four layers laying on top of each other. And then I just took some flared pants and laid on top and traced those out. And then you're gonna separate the four pieces and lay them good side to good side facing each each other two separate pieces because it's gonna be two different legs and then sew a long seam along the outside now with stretchy fabric it's a good idea to use a zigzag stitch I on the other hand I'm not using a zigzag stitch I just realized I don't know why my pants might blow open good to know okay once you've done that you're gonna splay them all open and lay them good side to good side and sew along the ski slope and then pin and sew down the crotch area too and then flip them right side out and boom, your pants are starting to look like pants now. So now I'm gonna sew along the waist, taking it in a little bit and then also hem the legs. Okay, now the shirt you ask. How did I do the shirt? Well, isn't that a great question? I wish I could tell you. It's surprisingly very detailed and I had absolutely no idea how to do it. Like I sat here and analyzed the photo for quite a long time trying to figure out how to do it. And whenever I don't know how to do something, it just seems like the footage really lacks. As in I'm focusing so hard I'm forgetting to change the camera angle and forgetting to record things. So this one's not really going to be a tutorial unfortunately. This is more just going to be me throwing things together trying to figure it out and it finishing and looking okay. Just look from a distance. Okay, the candy cane outfit with the super complicated collar. I have made a collar one other time and it was Tate's Bridesman shirt. So that kind of prepared me to make this. It turned out decent, but I think if I was to do it again, it would turn out better, if that makes sense. I definitely look like a life-size candy cane in this. I'm super happy with how these stretchy fabrics work for pants. They're very figure hugging and flattering and adding the flare, I really, really like this. I'm definitely going to use this pattern again with some other materials that are maybe a little bit more wearable. But I mean, that's the point of these videos. We were doing Fashion Nova bestsellers. Just because I wouldn't buy them, they're bestsellers, so clearly a lot of people like them. So we made those. Okay, for this outfit, the fabric was so affordable, it was only $3 a meter. And I think I used around two meters. Again, I'm estimating up. So $6 a fabric and then the usual thread of 10 cents. So $6.10 to make this versus Fashion Nova's price of $55. And yes, when I was shopping on Fashion Nova, there was some crazy site-wide sale. So this was actually $39. Initially, I wasn't gonna use the sale price, but then I realized Fashion Nova is always having some sort of sale. So we'll use that price. Either way, the price of what we made was well under. Now for anybody watching this, who's curious about how much this might cost in other sizes. I did this in my last video and you guys thought it was pretty helpful. So I decided to equate this to a 5XL. Now I'm not the best at converting sizes or knowing how much fabric to use because I am an amateur. So I pretty much just guesstimate for myself. So I'll guesstimate on this too. So to make this stripe set in a 5XL, I think you would be safe to use six meters of fabric, which would be $18 than the usual thread. So you'd be in it for $18.10, which is still 50% off Fashion Nova's sale price. Okay, now we're gonna make this swimsuit. The first thing I did was look through a bunch of my swimsuits to try to find a similar design to the one on Fashion Nova. So I found this triangle top and these high-waisted bottoms, so that will be perfect. I was so thrilled when we found this green fabric because I wasn't anticipating being able to find this neon green. Very happy. So on four layers of fabric, we're gonna trace out the triangle top. Now I'm doing four layers of fabric here because I don't want to accidentally be naked. 
I'm sure we've all worn a swimsuit that's one layer and it just doesn't have enough coverage. I'm not gonna let that happen. So basically I'm gonna sew two pieces together and then flip them right side out and that's what we're gonna work with for the boob covering. And in those I'm gonna put a boob pad. <laughs> I feel like I'm not using the right terms at all, but whatever, you know what I'm talking about. And then we gotta cut a long piece of fabric and sew it at around a half an inch and flip it right side out. And those are gonna be the long straps that tie up the whole swimsuit. And then I zigzag stitch, attach the boob pads to the straps, and then it was time to start on the bottoms. So again, on two layers of fabric, we're gonna trace the back and then we're going to trace the front and then sew those pieces together as if they're one piece. If your fabric's thick enough, you probably don't have to worry about this step, but mine wasn't. And then I'm gonna attach those at the crotch and also at the two sides, flipping it right side out, and I have something that resembles a swimsuit, and it is swimsuit material, so by rights, I should be okay. Okay, the first ever swimsuit I've made, it turned out decent. I think the simple triangle pattern definitely helped and having the correct swim fabric. So at least it's wearable swim fabric. I didn't just make this out of cotton and hope for the best. This would actually work in water. Making clothes is always so fun because you can really personalize it for what you want. Like let's say you don't like padding, you would just not sew padding in. Or let's say you like to have a big bow at the back and tie it up and have it draped down your back. You you could just make these straps super long. There is no limitations in sewing. So yeah, just like the Fashion Nova one, we have the high-waisted bottoms and the triangle top. Okay, for this swim fabric, it was pretty pricey. Definitely one of the most expensive fabrics I've bought. But I was like, it's a swimsuit. I need the special swim fabric so that when it gets wet, it doesn't become see-through and we don't run into a bunch of problems. So I shelled out $15 a meter for this. So I estimate I used about 0.5 of a meter of fabric. So $7 plus thread plus the boob pads that I put in it, which I thrifted for $1.99. This swimsuit came in at $9.09. Now on Fashion Nova's website, they priced the top and the bottom separately at $11 each. So $22 is the comparison price. Okay, now, if I have enticed you at all to try sewing, I suggest you go over to my second channel and watch the video that I just posted yesterday because in that video, we are doing a huge sewing machine giveaway. I've been teasing this for a while and I've been working on it for a very long time and we finally have the giveaway solidified. If you've ever wanted a sewing machine, this is a perfect chance to get your hands on one. And if these videos have shown you anything, you can save some serious money making things yourself. Obviously, yes, you have to enjoy sewing. If you don't enjoy sewing, I I don't suggest trying to make your own clothes. But if it seems like fun, it could possibly be a new hobby and something that you really enjoy. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed my take on these Fashion Nova pieces. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!